What is also of interest, we have Galen Rupp coming back after a few months of injury repair. He has said that he is in very, very good form after spending probably his best build-up in many years. He's 37 years old. He says he's going to try to qualify for the Paris Olympics in today's race. And if all goes well, he'll run faster, a lot faster, he said in interviews, than his the Olympic qualifying time of two hours, eight minutes and 10 seconds today. We are looking at some of the top women. We saw Sisson, who came from nowhere last year in the Chicago Marathon and finished second in a fast time of one hour, sorry, should I say two hours and 18 minutes and 29 seconds. The American record last year. And then we have Lyndon there with Capruto. He is ready to rock and roll as well. We are about to see Kipton. He is the man to watch. He has lots of eyes on him today, wearing Nike. And we have lots of Nike athletes here in the start field today on the elite side. We also have here Galen Rupp coming back from injury says he's in the best shape of his last few years of and here we have the other favored American in the field today Connor Muntz and he is after the qualifying time for the Olympics as well starting very very soon I am more excited to see who is going to be on top of the women's race today. We have Ruth Kipnicic, who could have forgotten last year when she came out and ran 106.44 for the first half of the race. And me and Errol, my fellow co-host last year, were saying that she was going to blow, and she did not blow up at all, not really anyway, and ran an amazing second half as well. She's been said in pre-race interviews that she is after another fast start of somewhere between 105.40 to 106 for the first half. And we will be watching these athletes from start to finish coming in to Grant Park again after about two hours for the men's race and after two hours and 15 minutes roughly for the women's race. We have pacemakers for both the men and the women's races and it's going to be amazing to see how this ends up today. Prize money for this race is some of the best in the world for the men's and women's open division. You're looking at a prize purse of roughly around a million, a million US dollars for first place. You get a hundred thousand dollars down to 25,000 for the fifth place. And then if you win with a course record, you are in the chance to win another additional 50,000 US dollars. So 150,000 US dollars for some of these athletes is a lot of money. The course of the Chicago Marathon is nice and fast. It's flat and the weather is none other than perfect today. Maybe slightly on the cold side for the first hour of today's race, but eight degrees is by no means freezing, so, and that's Celsius degrees. But for those of you who are watching with the Imperial system. We have our first mile under 
the bridge here, and then we get into wide open spaces for the rest of today's race. Back into the lead of the wheelchair. Mr. Marcel Hug is looking good. We've got 251 and 255. Those are the two that seem to be cleared out from the rest of the field already. Looking very, very good there. There we have the first 5K in 10 minutes and six seconds. Hug has already got a 25 second lead on Romanchuk and Plucked, Cassidy and Pike. What is lovely, I've run this Chicago Marathon course a couple of times myself, and it's an amazing event with the crowd out quite early in the morning to give support to anyone racing. And as the day goes on, we'll be seeing more and more of this crowd coming in to say hello to their loved ones, but then also to these amazing athletes that you're seeing in the front of the pack. As I was saying, the women's race is an incredible race today. We've got Ruth Kipnitich, who is self-coached. She's 29 years of age. She has just this year alone won, which is no easy feat, won the Kenyan Cross Country Championships. She's the 2021 and 22 Chicago Marathon winner and even the 2022 and 2023 Nagano in marathon champ with the course record, and that's in Japan, for those of you that don't know where Nagano is. I have a personal love of this course. I have got two athletes running in the race today none other than the Norwegian power rocket Johannes Lien, who's hopefully going to run under three hours and 20 minutes today. We also have world marathon age group athlete Anna Ulbay. Coach her as well, and it'll be nice to see how she turns out as well today. Women's wheelchair 5K split. We have De Bruna and Scaroni, as we were talking about and then a whole list of people running, or shall we say, competing behind them. And the pacemakers are doing an amazing job here. And I think I'll go through some of the top men's athletes today. We've got Bashir Abdi who could have forgotten, forgotten his Olympic marathon result in the Tokyo where he finished third. And then in the World Championships, he finished third as well. He's got a personal best time of two hours and three minutes and 36 seconds. He's 34 years of age. And this year he's coming off great runs from the Great North Run, which is a half marathon in one hour, one minute and 20 seconds. And then the first Rotterdam, where he came uh, first Rotterdam Marathon in two hours and three minutes and 47 seconds. So he's in great shape. He also did an amazing time for the Belgium Half Marathon Championships, scraping under the 60 minute mark, 59 minutes and 51 seconds. So he is one to watch, and we will probably focus on him throughout the day. We have pacemakers. The pacemakers are wearing the all white singlets. And then you have all the top athletes. What looks like all Nike sponsored athletes, at least most of them anyway. And as it may look like we're running slightly downhill here, but let me assure you, it is a flat 
and fast course to today's race. So both my athletes, Johannes Lien and Anna Ulbe, will be trying to run under three hours and 20 minutes today. And let's hope we will see that towards the end of today's race. The elite men's have done almost two and a half K. And if we're looking for a course record, which is what they're saying they're wanting to aim for today, then we have to pass the first 5K in roughly around 14 minutes and 46 seconds. On the woman's side, we've got Kipnicic, who's wanting to run a course record today. She wants to run under 15 minutes and 28 seconds. And if she can do half as good as she did last year and benefit from running the race last year, then she is ready for a good race today. Also on the men's side, we have Kinde Atanao, which is an amazing athlete from Ethiopia. He ran Valencia, his personal best of two hours, three minutes and 51 seconds in 2019. This year, he hasn't raced at all. So, or any of the big major races anyway, but he is after a fantastic return to racing after being injured last year. He won the Valencia Marathon 2019, and then he suffered from COVID. And then since then, he's come back and they say that this will be his return to glory in today's race. You can see him there, slightly behind on the left with the arm warmers. That's our man, and he is in to have a good run today. We also have David Dawit Walder from Ethiopia with a personal best time of two hours, four minutes and 27 seconds. He has raced this year. He got fourth place in the Rotterdam Marathon in two hours, five minutes and 46 seconds. And he is in for a good run today. He's a two-time Olympian in the 1500 meters. And after dropping out of his debut Bank of American Chicago Marathon last year, he's looking to give it a better go this time. So it looks like we have Still the leading woman here. De Brewer and Susanna Scaroni from the US. Looking good, Scaroni is in front. And is looking like a champion right now. There we have Hook in the front. He had a 25 second lead after the first 5K. We'll be coming up to the 10K mark very, very shortly. And we are followed close, closely behind by Platt, Ramonchuk, Pike, and then Cassidy. Last year, we had an amazing performance by the other American male in the field. His name is Connor Muntz, and he ran the second fastest debut for any American in two hours, eight minutes, and 16 seconds. He's hoping to run six seconds faster so he can qualify for the Olympics in Paris next year. He also has had a great run of form this year, running two hours and 23 minutes at the Houston Half Marathon for sixth place in 61 minutes and 12 seconds. As you can see, Marcel Hug is no stranger to the streets of Chicago. He got the course record last year in one hour, 25 minutes and 20 seconds. And he is in for that again. We'll be able to tell you how close he is to the record as we get 
inch closer and closer to the finish line. But we are in for a treat today with these two women pushing each other side by side. Both great athletes. We've got De Bruyne in first now. The all-rounded athlete who's won gold medals in 400 meters all the way up into the marathon distance. And then we got the marathon specialist, Skaroni, in second place right now, who has won Chicago Marathon last year and is in to give us all a bit of a cheat today. Here we go, the leading men again. We will probably see a tight pack of these athletes all the way at least till the halfway mark. The pacemakers have been asked to do a job, to do their job all the way to at least the 25K mark. And as you can see, these four athletes, pace one to pace four, all leading the charge, blocking which is no wind in today's event. We'll be coming up to the first 5K mark very, very shortly. We are crossing almost into 13 minutes since the start of the race. And I would suspect that we will probably see these top athletes running around about 14 minutes and 40 seconds now on the first 5K. Kelvin Kiptum had amazing first two races in his marathon racing career, but he's also no slouch over the half marathon distance, running an amazing time of 58 minutes and 42 seconds. And he is definitely one to watch. As you can see, always when there's a water station, the athletes spread out a little bit. Always a bit of a problem when it comes to people getting their water bottles. And there's Hug, Marcel Hug from Switzerland. He's 37 years old. He says he's going to compete for many years to come. There's Kipton, the man we've been talking about. We also see Capluto there, Benson Capluto, 32 years of age. He's ran, won Chicago last year in two hours, four minutes and 24 seconds. He is definitely a man to watch. Can he win what no man has done since 2013 and win two Chicago marathons back to back. It is a good sign to see that our men are leaving their pacemakers behind already. Capruto got third in Boston this year, Boston Marathon in two hours and 23 minutes. And he is on fire today as well. So he has the course record. in many races, smaller races throughout Europe. But here he has the former last year's winner of the Chicago Marathon. We'd like to see what Galen Rupp is doing. He's Galen Rupp and Connor Muntz. It'd be nice to see where these guys are at as well. Yeah, they, he's a known name now, Calvin. Calvin kipped him. And on the 
woman's side. We will be swatching the woman a little bit later on today. And I see we have Daniel Mateiko from Kenya, not uh, Benson Capruto in the top three here. The pacemaker and Kiptum. And uh, he is the pacemaker of London Marathon this year. It is his debut over the marathon distance. And he paced Kiptum for one hour, a two hours and one minute and 25 second victory at the TCS London Marathon. So he's no slouch. He's a half marathon specialist and he's coming to run his own race here at Chicago this year. He trains with the NN team. And that's the famous team that runs or trains together with none other than the greatest of all time, Kipchoge. He's a finalist in the World Championships over the 10,000 meters, and he has broken 59 minutes for the half marathon five times. And he won the Antrim Coast half marathon in Northern Ireland, and he has won that this year. So he is in fine form with one first place in the half marathon and a second place in the half marathon in this year alone. We know he's in good form because in August this year he ran that 58 minutes and 36 seconds for the win. So Calvin kept him and Daniel Mateko here leading the charge already early on in today's race. Marcel Hook is in the lead, looking like he will not be chased down today unless he hits the wall. But these wheelchair athletes are no slouches. They know exactly what they're doing. And it's going to be interesting to see what time Marcel will be doing today. He is fitter, he is getting faster, and he has a PB of 1 hour 18 minutes and 25 seconds at Boston in earlier this year. Boston is not an official world record course. As we know, it starts some from one end and finishes 42.2K later in the center of Boston. The wheelchair, they would have passed. Marcel should have passed the 15K mark now. He is flying and we're looking at an amazing he could be going for the course record today in perfect competing conditions. Let's see if we can see if we have got the first 5K for the men now. Still waiting to see, but we should have gone past it so far. Here we go. So 14 minutes and 26 seconds for the first 5K for Kiptum, and that means he is in fantastic world record pace right now. Definitely course record because the first time we had the 5K for Dennis Camito in 2013 was 14.46, and Calvin just ran an amazing 14 minutes and 26 seconds in the first 5K here. We've got Benson there as well. We've got John Career as the pacemaker. We've got Adidas Abeba and Daniel Mateko there all running closely together. So these guys are looking like flying right now. Kenyans. 
got an expected finish time right now. Kipped him of two hours, one minutes and 41 seconds. So he is looking like he is in for a fantastic overall time and definitely under a course record. For the women, we have amazing Ruth Kipnikic. She has now gone through the first 5K in 1542, which is again a little bit slower than the course record for the women's race from Bridget Koskai when she set the world record back then of two hours, 14 minutes and four seconds, but it's still not very far away for Ruth Kipnitich. Kipnitich. She looking at running under finish time right now of well under two hours 12 minutes and 30 seconds at the moment so she is also looking very good indeed for those of you who want to know how Galen Rupp and the other American greats. And I will get that to you very, very shortly. But we do have an update. We have Sifan Hassan, who could remember, forget her, in today's field when she came from nowhere on her marathon debut and won London earlier this year. Sifan Hassan is an amazing athlete, as we all know, probably one of the most famous in middle distance running or distance running for women. She ran two hours, 18 minutes and 33 seconds in London in late, earlier this year. She was a world champion, over 5,000 meters. She's the bronze 1,500 meter champion. And she is definitely one to watch if Ruth Kipnitich fades towards the end of the race. have Galen Rupp now, for those of you who are interested. He has gone through the first 5K. You got this. In He's running a little bit slower at the moment than his personal best. He is expected to run around two hours, eight minutes and 59 seconds today based on that first 5K split. So again, he is looking good. Let's have a look and see where Munz is. Number 10 on his number bib. He is also running with Galen Rupp right now. They're together running just under two hours and nine minute pace at the moment. So those two are looking very good. It's early on and I'm sure we're about to see a great race between those two as well. Connor Muntz is first, then we got Galen Rupp, then we got Sam Chalunga, all those three. Daniel Ticklibram is also there, and then we got Frank Lara about seven seconds behind. So those top American men all together. And then let's see if the top American woman. We got Emily Sissons looking good in. 26 27 after 8k in the race. Quick, 
both these ladies, the top American ladies, are running under the two hours, 20 minute mark. And that's the hope for the organizers in the Chicago Marathon today to hope that the top American woman, first time ever in history to have two top American women in the, under the magic two hours and 20 minutes mark today. If we go back to who we have in the top men for the moment, we have Kevin, Calvin Kiptum, we got Daniel Mateko, we got Benson Capruto, who won last year's race. We've got Hisuyidin Pesa from Ethiopia, and then David Waldu, also from Ethiopia. So three Kenyan athletes, two Ethiopian athletes, plus a few others there in the chasing bunch. The biggest field ever in the Chicago Marathon was in 2019 just before the coronavirus hit the world of just under 46,000 finishes in the race. For the first running of the race in 1977, there was a mere 2,128 runners that finished that first event. We've had five world records set at the Chicago Marathon. And of course, three American records with one of those Sissons running that race last year. Here we have Ruth Kipnicic getting paced, looking good, running a little bit slower than what she was talking about in the pre-race interviews. But I am sure we are going to see that pick up. We have the amazing Sifan Hassan tightly on her toes. It'll be interesting to see how long she can hand on, hang on. Who could have forget, uh, forgotten last, the last race at the London Marathon when she came back after struggling later on in the race and came out to win the race. men are flying we are looking at well under the course record pace at the 5k mark we'll be coming up to the 10k mark very very shortly and here we go 10k in 28 minutes and 42 seconds that is well under the course record amazing Amazing, amazing. 28 minutes and 42 seconds. Incredible first 10K. Almost 40 seconds faster than when Dennis Kimito ran his course record back in 2013. So these guys are flying. They're looking very relaxed. Kiptum and Mateko. Mateko, once again, is a debut marathon runner today, but he's no slouch. He is training partner to partner to Kipchoge, also to Kiptum. He's paced Kiptum at the London Marathon, and it's going to be amazing to see what he can do in today's race. In 2013, when Dennis Kamito ran his world, his course record, he ran the 10K in 29 minutes and 23 seconds. This year, these men are running 28 minutes and 42 seconds. So you're looking at 45 seconds difference right now. 
on the course record so far. If they keep this up, we are looking for well under the course record, but are we looking almost for a world record as well? It is going to be close. Two hours, one minute and six seconds. And here we have Ruth Kipnitich. Two hours, 14, 14 and 18 seconds with Sifan Hassan tightly behind her. Sifan Hassan will just sit on her the whole way, I would suggest, as long as she can. And then hopefully she can enjoy the ride behind one of the world's greatest women's marathon runners of all time. She is, since her debut in 2017, top three in every marathon that she has run. She set the old half marathon world record in 2021, where she ran 104.02 and she has won every single marathon major that she's run, which is seven of them between 2018 and 2023. So if our cards are right, she is the one to watch today. It's Sifan Hassan. You can never count her out. You can never push her out of her stride. It'll be interesting to see what she can do towards the later stages of this race. We all saw a Berlin Marathon last week, or a couple of weekends ago. Tell you right now, we are definitely looking yes. for a world record in the men's race. Very good pacing right now, and in the women's race, who could have missed the Berlin Marathon this year when we had an amazing thrashing of the world record when. The Ethiopian powerhouse came out and ran two hours, 11 minutes and shattered the world record in her wake. moment amazing world record two hours 11 minutes and 53 seconds tinkst asefa from ethiopia behind her is the course record holder in the chicago marathon bridget Koskai, who ran two hours 40 minutes and four seconds that's the time that Kipnitich is trying to break today. Last year she ran two hours, 14 minutes and four seconds, 14, sorry, two hours, 14 and 14 seconds. And hope she's hoping for a, a better time in today's race. The woman should have gone through the top. NK now in 31 minutes, 10 seconds, and that means that they are on world record pace as well. We could be looking at two world records in today's if it is early, and you never know what's going to happen in the marathon, but at 10K. Kipnitic and Sifan Hassan are expected to, at the moment, come into the finish line in two hours, 11 minutes and seven seconds. So they are flying 
and it's going to be interesting to see if these ladies and men can hang on to this race and get to the finish line with what would be an amazing performance in both the men's and women's races. We are definitely looking at a world course record if everything stays as planned. So it'll be interesting to see. The second 5K for these two ladies was a lot faster than the first 5K. At the moment, on the woman's side, we have about 23 seconds to under the course record pace right now. So 20 seconds faster over the first 10K than when Bridget Kuskai got the world record of two hours, 14 minutes and four seconds in 2017. Back to the leading men's wheelchair. He has been leading from start and what looks like will be to finish. His name's Marcel Hug from the Switz, Switzerland mountains. And he is based on what's been happening over the last few years. He has gone from strength to strength, winning everything that he competes in. And this today looks like it will be no difference. It's business as usual, as my friend Errol used to say, who commentates with me, he is looking like a machine. So, men's world record set in Berlin in 2022. Who would ever forget that? Of two hours, one minute, nine seconds. Berlin Marathon. All the previous world records have the eight of the fastest world records ever produced are from the Berlin Marathon. The last time the world record was broken in the marathon on the Chicago Marathon course was by none other than the Moroccan slash United States athlete Khalid Kanucci when he ran two hours, five minutes and 42 seconds. Here come the top women's and we still have the two. The Bruna is in front. And then we have Scaroni just tightly behind. As unlike the men's race, they're tight. They're running close together. It's going to be interesting to see what they can do. Pacemaker, two athletes, two of the best athletes in the world running side by side running under the world record pace right now. They would have closed into nearly the 15K mark. For those of you interested in the men's, we've got Connor Muntz in and Galen Rupp and Daniel Teklikbrum and Chalanga and Frank Lara all together. A tight pack of all the top American men running as a pack. That's 10K. Two hours, eight minutes and 13 seconds is their expected finish time. They are doing great. They are looking good. And 30 minutes and 24 seconds for the top American team of five athletes right now running together trying to go after that world or should i say olympic qualifying time of two hours eight minutes and ten seconds let's see how the top american women are doing
Emily Sissons and Emma Bates are still neck and neck. And Molly Seidel just about 29 seconds behind. But these women, Emily and Emma, are still well under the time of two hours and 20 minutes and are looking at running both for the first time in American history under the two hours 20 for two women in the same race. Probably can hear someone yelling out, saying that the second pack or the chase pack are roughly around 45, 50 seconds behind this leading duo, or three, this leading three triplet. And these athletes are flying. There's the 15k mark. Looks like they are just going better and better. The last time the men, the course record, they ran 44. 44 minutes and two seconds. And I can tell you right now, we are well under that pace for the leading men. Forty-three oh nine. So we are almost one minute faster than the course record pace at 15k. Amazing performance by these men, and it is going to be an amazing to see if they can hang on to this blisterous pace. If we look at slightly over as in slower than the world record pace right now slowing a little bit but uh, still very very close and we are looking for if these guys can run together for the rest of the time we're looking at close or under the world record pace we have Zabruna and Scaroni neck and neck side by side Man there next to him, 218. Oh, They're part of the men's elite field. Kiptum is looking great. Mateiko is looking great. They are running side by side. Debut marathon for Mateiko, but he is no slouch. As I've said before, he's run under 59 minutes. Some say he is a half marathon specialist. Let's see if he can win it on the road today as well in the marathon and change from being a half marathon specialist to the full marathon distance. Right now, we are definitely under the second fastest of all time by Kiptum. He has the second fastest and the fifth fastest of all time with his 201.25 that he did in London. Two hours, one minute, 25 seconds when he won London with Mateko, the man who's in third place right now, pacing him into that amazing time. Second fastest of all time. And these guys are flying. On the men's side, Khaled Knucci has won the race four times. And on the, the women's side, there has only ever been a woman who's run it twice. 2017, American Galen Rupp won the men's race. In 2000, and five was the last time a American woman won this event. And that was none other than the great Dina Kasta, who amazingly ran an amazing time back in 2005. Ruth 
taking on some gels. It looks like Sifan Hassan is taking it easy with the drinks. She's got to get her fluid in. She's got to get her gels. Right. Let that not be deceiving. Always around the drink stations, things people tend to break up, these groups. And I'm sure we're going to see Sifan Hassan come back to the pack, to Ruth Kipnitich very, very shortly. We're coming up to the 15K mark for the woman now. Last time when the world, sorry, should I say, course record and world record back then. It was done. They went through the 15K in 47 minutes and 26 seconds. Be interesting to see where we are right now for the women's race. Just so you all know, there is a tight pack of the men in third position. The fight for third, we're looking at about a minute behind Kelvin and Daniel, who are leading the race. We've got Marcel Hug, who's after the course record today, and he is looking like he is going to do it. 48 minutes and 41 seconds. And he wins 25,000 if he wins this race today. Plus the course record, you're looking for another whopping 20,000 US dollars. to see what will happen. What I can tell you in the third fight for the men's race, we got last year's winner, Benson Caprutos there. We got Hesidian Essa. We got John Correa. And we've got a few others there in the mix. We'll see if we have our top American men also now pass through. And there we have it. We still have the top five men on the US side all running together. Connor Muntz. They're all and they're on 207 pace now. So they've actually picked up the pace a little bit. We've got Sam Shalanga, we've got Daniel Tickligram, we've got Galen Rupp and Clayton Young. We've got a few others in there as well, I think. Clayton Young is now five seconds behind Galen Rupp at, or the pack of Galen Rupp and Cotter Munts after 15K. The top American woman, uh, top woman now. We have Ruth Kipnitich running her 15K in 46 minutes and 36 seconds. 46 minutes, 36, and that means we are about 50 seconds under the course record pace right now set by Bridget Koskai back in 2017. So these when women are flying, we've got a course record looking like a course record in the men's wheelchair by Marcel Hug. And then we've got these two women as well. Let's see where we are for them. Shortly, I just thought I'd give you the update of the top American woman in the race. And we have Emily and Emily Sisson and Emma Bates both close neck and neck in 49 minutes, 26 seconds. Still well under two hours and 20 minutes for the finishing time. Look at 25k now has gone for the women's wheelchair races. They went through the half marathon in 48 minutes and six seconds. Amazing performance so far. Baroni is in front. De Bruna is in second place. 
and they are drafting and working together it looks like to try to get the best time in today's event we look at Marcel Hug. he's already at the 30k mark he went through the half marathon in 41 minutes and 7 seconds he is definitely on the course record pace right now looks like he will be finished within about another 20 minutes so we are flying on perfect conditions here in the states in chicago the streets are on fire and these athletes are just pounding down the streets of chicago as we speak men's top athletes as we go back to the lead race at the leading of the men's race we are going to see them pass through 20k next halfway coming up soon and it'll be interesting to see what their pace is in 2013 Dennis Camito ran 58 minutes and 40 seconds for the 20K. At the 15K mark, these men were one minute faster than the course record. And it would be interesting to see Calvin Kiptum is only 23 years of age. We have the debut athlete, Nadeiko. Nadeiko looks very, very good as well. You are these athletes. You can see the chasing pack behind. A good one minute behind the leading men at the 15k mark, and it doesn't look like they've gotten any closer. It's going to be interesting. We have an amazing course. We go through 27 different parts of or towns, cities of Chicago. Looks like Sifan Hassan is looking like she is hungry. We've got pace number 12, pace number 10, and pace number 9 all running together. Looking great. And it is, do we see Kipnitic faltering a little bit? Her running style is a little bit tight. Are we seeing her drop off? Or is she just sort of taking it a bit easy, letting Sifan Hassan Put on. Get a little bit overconfident. As I said before, over the last five years, she has won. Kipnitich has won every marathon major she has finished since 2018. That's seven marathons she has won over the last five years, six years. She's also in that time won one of the top marathons as well and was the first woman ever to break 65 minutes for the half marathon. looking very strong. Let's see if we have had 
The top woman now passing through the 15K mark. We have 46, of course, I've said that already. Well come. But we now have the other three. We have Migurtu Kibidi. We have Ababel Rihani of Ethiopia, those, those athletes. And then we have Joycelyn Chipkoskai in fighting it out for third place as well. So we have two, race, two athletes in both the men's and women's race, neck and neck, side by side. Who is going to win and prevail as the marathon champion for Chicago at the moment? It is hard to tell. Marcel Hook is on fire, ladies and gentlemen. He has already passed the 40. No, he's close to the 40K mark now. And you'll recognize, if you know this race, you will know when he gets to the finish line or close to the finish line, there's going to be more and more people lining the streets. And he was on world, or should I say, course record pace. Let's see whether we can see what the course record pay is for the wheelchair event. So one hour and 25 minutes and 20 seconds, which Marcel Hug won last year. And at the halfway mark, he was well under that time. On the woman's side, we have a world a course record of 139.15. Yeah. We are under that as well for the women's race. Marcel Hug, and behind him, we have the next athletes. There is at least four athletes together, around about five, six, seven minutes behind at the 30k mark. So Marcel Hug is, unless he gets a falls off. He is going to win this race today in a course record time. Marcel Hug has done one hour, eight minutes, 20 seconds for the 35K mark. And he is lying. He is well under the course record pace right now. The last year when he did the record at the 35k mark, he was one hour, 16 minutes and 57 seconds. So Marcel Hug is on fire. He has done one hour and eight minutes and 20 seconds at the 35k mark. He is well under that course record for sure. And these women, Stephen Hassan, looking very relaxed as she does, and nice rolling of her arms back and forth. We have the more aggressive running style of Kipnatic, and we have now only the two runners, 20k, 57. 39 for both Kipton of Taiko, and they are well under again, a little bit faster again than the course record 
And if we are right, if we can do the calculations, we are looking at a close, if not better than the world record, 20K in 57 minutes and 39 seconds. 2.01.36 is the projected finishing time right now. And we're going about to go through the halfway mark in well under, I would say well under 60 minutes if we keep this pace up. They are running roughly around two, uh, two minutes and 52, 53, 54 seconds per K. That's under 4.45 per mile. And these athletes, I mean, you must be just impressed and taken back by the performances in both the men's and the women's race right now. Mateko, who is his debut today, has run the marathon, or the half marathon, in a whopping time of 58 minutes and 46 seconds. They're talking to one another, they're smiling at each other, and they are on really a good pace together now. For second place, Old oh, whoever out of these men gets second, they will be winning a prize of 75,000. And there's the half marathon. 60, 48. 60 minutes and 48 seconds. Then you've got one minute, 32 or 33 seconds behind are the rest of the field. So these guys, and they're not running bad. They're running very, very well. So uh, these guys, the guys are just running exceptionally fast. Six, one oh oh forty eight. And that is amazing. At when Dennis Kamito ran his course record in 2013, he had one oh one fifty two. One one hour, one minute and fifty two seconds. These guys have just done one hour and forty eight seconds. So they are now one minute four seconds faster than the course record at the halfway mark. Kamito's record of two hours, three minutes and 45 seconds is really in jeopardy uh, right now, as, especially when you see how these guys are talking to one another, smiling at each other, looking like they're ready to rock and roll. Guys in third, fourth, fifth place, all competing for the third prize, are still, and just to let you know, are under two hours and five minutes, which back a few years ago would have been considered a fantastic uh, running event. There's been a bit of debate. Why have the course records come down so much? And a lot of it is due to these fast carbon fibered shoes that you see all of the elites and a lot of the non-elites wearing these days really really making a difference Kiptum and training partner Mateko looking like they're out to have a fantastic battle towards the later stages of this race if we look at the top American men now they should have passed the halfway mark 103.21 for both Galen Rupp and Connor Muntz. We've got Sam Chalunga in there as well, and even Daniel Tiklimbrum 
uh, all neck and neck. Four American athletes, all neck and neck, all ready to pounce well under the Olympic qualifying time of two hours, eight minutes and 10 seconds. At the moment, it looks like Galen Rappu and Monks are uh, out to run a personal best time in the marathon. Two, thousand, two, oh, two hours, eight minutes and 16 seconds is Monks' personal best. And two hours and six minutes and seven seconds is Galen Ruff's best. So both guys are close or definitely under their personal best times right now. We look at the top woman now. See if they've gone through the 20k mark, which they have. The half marathon. She, Ruth Kipnitic, got through in 105.42, which means she ran faster than what she did last year when she ran 105.44. So she is on fire, she is looking good. And we see that Sifan Hassan has now dropped off the pace. But she has a pacemaker as well to run with her. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. We look at the course record of Bridget Kovsky. She ran 1.06.59 way back. 2017 it means that both the men and the woman at halfway are now at least one minute or greater at the halfway mark under the course record for both this men and women so well done to you out there looking amazing <laughs> 71 seconds ahead of the course record at the halfway mark. It means that if she keeps this up, she is close to the world record of two hours, 11 minutes and 23 seconds, or 11 seconds, should I say. But at the moment, she's at slightly slower. They're over the halfway mark, and she looks very relaxed and ready to count on that world record. Of American woman now. Let's see where they at. 109.31 for both Emily and Emma, Emily Sisson and Emma Bates. And that means they are looking like they are still well under the two hours 20 mark for both women getting under that mark the first time in American history. Top wheelchair men have now. He is into the final stretch. 2k to go. And it'll be interesting to see if he breaks that course record. I'm sure he will. That kind of shows like it's a little. I'm sure we're gonna see him come into the finish line. Broadcast is always like to show the wheelchair athletes coming into the finish so it's going to be great to see Marcel Hug here he is as we speak on cue here we go Hug is well under the course record is he close to the world record let's have a look Last year, Hug had almost eight minutes on second place. And here we go, the row up to the finish line. Here we go, we are looking
one hour 17. He hasn't got the world record, but he's going to get well under the course record. We've got only about 600 meters to go now over the top of the hill before he turns the corner. He is going to thrash that course record. Led from start to finish. Is he going to win the race by more than the eight minutes that he won last year? It looks like he will. Marcel Hug flying down the streets of Chicago with a course record of amazing Marcel Hook. There you go, 122.33. That's a thrashing of the course record. He's the four-time event champion. And if that's anything to go by, then we're about to do an amazing race uh, towards the uh, in both the men's and the women's races in the wheelchair and the live condition. So amazing results here. Just wanted to give you an update at 10K. Both my athletes, Anna Ube and Johannes Lien, are doing amazing. They went through the 15K at exactly three hours and 20 minutes pace. They are doing exactly what their coach says. So well done to you both. We are looking good here. We are amazing result by Marcel Hook, finishing in a course record, well under the course record that he set one year ago. He is superhuman. Five minutes and 20 seconds. Amazing result. That's what he did last year. This year he did one hour, 22 minutes and 33 seconds. So incredible result by Marcel. Who will probably be waiting at least eight minutes before we get the top people in. At the 25k mark, the men have gone out through. Our top men have gone through in 1.12. 04. If we look at the top time from when Dennis Kimito ran, it was 1.13.19. So we are still 60, 75 seconds under the course record at the 25k mark. So these guys are looking fantastic both young, both running side by side, both know how each other's trains, how each other can benefit from each other. They train together. And both are looking very relaxed and comfortable right now at 25K. If we look at Bashir Abdi, he is in second place. Can't hear the sound here. 21, 22, 37 is the official time. So well done to Marcel Hug. As I was saying, Babde, ba Bashir Abdi is in third place, one hour 13, 50. And so he is close to the course record also set by Dennis Kamito.
we still have at least four or five athletes together in that third place chasing group. And it'll be interesting to see who ends up on top. Bashir Abdi. Yeah, I'm still uh, very motivated uh, because I, I believe that uh, I can still do better times, records, uh, doing more medals. <laughs> so uh, I'm still hungry and still motivated. Just also just doing the sport. It's my passion. I, I really love it. And uh, yeah, I mean, to do a marathons like this here in Chicago is just amazing. It's, uh, it's a huge motivation to see the crowd here and this atmosphere is just incredible. And I was going to say, take us out on the course today. You said you you don't like sprint finishes, but you had nobody around you. It seemed like halfway through. How did you build such a powerful start and how is that the key for you? Yeah, I was just trying to, to go uh, fast from the beginning because I was trying to, to break the course record. So I was uh, taking the lead and then didn't look back. But uh, after some case, I, I looked back and nobody there. And so so, yeah, I just tried to keep up my pace. Thank you so much, Marcel. Appreciate it. Marcel Huga, champion again. Back to you guys. And you finally heard what he was saying. He loves this race. He's going to be racing for many years to come. And now we're coming down to the top woman. And at the 35K, we had De Bruna and Scaroni neck and neck as they have been all throughout the race. And they are looking like it's going to be a very, very tight finish. The course record, as I said, is set by Tatiana McFadden. In 2017, she did one hour and 39 minutes and 15 seconds. And I must say that Amanda McGarry also finished in 39, 1 hour 39 minutes and 15 seconds neck and neck on an identical time so are we going to see another fantastic race between these two women let's see we are in for a treat here ladies and gentlemen Amazing results happening here in the men's and women's wheelchair. Looks like they've slowed down a bit. Maybe they're trying to feel themselves out, get a bit of ready for a sprint finish between these ladies. We have lots of men and women racing together now here. It's going to be interesting to see where they end up. Sipan Hassan now back as she did in London, came back from behind in the later stages. This we can't really call this the later stages yet, but she is back in the lead pack. And Kipnicic is looking like she's now struggling. Is she struggling or is she just doing what she did previously? Is just buying her time, but it does look like. Kipnatic is feeling the effects of her 105.42 start pace for the first half marathon. And Sifan Hassan will be winning her second marathon major in so many appearances if she keeps this up.
something amazing. And it does look like Kipnatic is feeling the effects of that fast, fast start. 105.42 for the first half. Two seconds faster than last year when she ran an amazing time of two hours, 14 minutes and 14 seconds. I think we're about to see Sefan Hassan winning this event if she can keep this up over the final stages. Sifan Hassan at the 25k mark was with Ruth. Let's see. Where we are at here. Looking good. Coming up to the finishing line soon for the woman in the wheelchair event. Leaving the men behind. like these women are coming into the finish. I have trouble with my app. It doesn't seem to be giving me any feedback right now, but last time, hopefully we'll get back into action fairly soon. We have passed the 25 K, as we said. We got Susanna Sacroni and Drebruna neck and neck as they have been throughout the whole event. The course record is 138 and uh, 139 15. These women have left the men behind and now are on their own fighting neck and neck. Sacroni is in front, De Bruna is behind. De Bruna has got medals in the 400 meters, the 800 meters, the 1500 meters at World Championships and Olympics, Paralympics. So I'm sure that Scaroni would not want to have a sprint finish. Kipnatic has got her own pacemaker now. One of the pacemakers has dropped back to help. And we have Sifan Hassan with her pacemaker now. Pace number nine, looking like a champion. Sifan Hassan and the 25K mark is 118.06 as I've said before Ruth Kipnicic at that point was with her but now we're looking at around about 10 to 15 seconds ahead right now we've got 30k mark now for these gentlemen and they are running side by side let's see where we're at in relation to their latest 5k and where they are if they're dropping the time a little bit and here we go 126 
31. 126. 31 at the 30k mark. And if we look at last time at 30k when Dennis Kamito ran his course record, he had 128.04. So these men are still powering through to the finish and they are looking fantastic here. We've got less than 30% of the race to go. And they are flying. Here we go. Are they going to get under the course record of 1 hour 39 minutes and 15 seconds? It is going to be a neck and neck race. It's going to be tight. They're coming up to roughly around about, I would say, the last K of the race now. Let's see. Here we go, they're coming up to the hill and it looks like Scaroni is slowly making a move, although De Bruna is also there now. She is looking good, she's passing her up the hill. The hill is brutally tough at this stage of the race after 42 or 41.9K. Has she gone too early? It looks like Scaroni is tight on her tails again. We are looking into a fight towards the end. And it is going to be a tight finish. The 400 meter specialist looks like she's got it. She is coming into the corner. And it's going to be a course record for the men's and women's race. Well done to these ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. A new runner, a winner, De Bruna. Catherine De Bruna into the finish. She's flying, she's closing in. But if you look at Scaroni, she hasn't given up yet. It's going to be a fight all the way into the finish as these two come in. De Bruna, come on, Scaroni. Who is going to pass? It's going to be De Bruna from Switzerland. The Switzerland in both the men's and the women's and the course record. Well done to Catherine De Bruna from Switzerland. A uh, fantastic time. Fantastic time by her as well here into the finish. Uh, one hour, 38 minutes is the official and 44 seconds. So she bet the record by 31 seconds. Amazing race by her today. Fantastic. Course record by the men as well. Switzerland first in the men's, first in the women's. And we are... Well done, girl. You too. Nice job. So did you. I don't know. What's the time? Yeah, it was 139.50. The men's record was broken by almost three minutes, two minutes and 47 seconds. And the women's record in today's wheelchair event was broken by 31 seconds. An amazing. And she is very, very happy. Very nice great sportsmanship between these women let's get back to the top american men as i'm sure we have some listeners who want to see how they are going at the 30k mark we have connor Muntz and galen rupp still neck and neck we've got sam chalunga is also there but they're beginning to drop off it looks like even daniel tick is also there and clayton young has now dropped off but connor Muntz and galen rupp are on course 
to still break two hours and seven minutes. Well done to those two. Who is going to win between those two powerhouses of American long distance running? We are about to see with less than 12K to go in the race. These guys are flying and now we see Kiptum has decided, you know, I've had enough. I need to make my move. I want to try to break this world record. I'm going to pick it up and take it to the class here. So let's see Jesus. where we are. He is flying. He's picked up the pace incredibly now. And it's going to be interesting to see what he can do. As the American on the following truck has said, Jesus, it means that he has really quickened the pace now. And we see oh, just in, I think, the 40, 35K mark, or we're going to be close to the 35K mark very, very soon. Calvin Kiptum is thought to be taking over the reins of men's marathon runner running from Kipchoge. He trains with Kipchoge. He does everything that Kipchoge, Kipchoge does. And it'll be interesting to see what his time will be here now. I can tell you right now that this next 5K, this last 5K, he has picked up the pace and left Mateko in his wake. And it'll be interesting to see what that 40, 35K mark will be. At the 30K mark, we've now got results from Abdi and Korea and Capruto. Those guys are all running together still, but they are over for one hour, one minute and 40 seconds behind Kiptum and Mateko at the 30k mark. These guys are flying. 35k coming up at Dennis Kamito's 35k. He did one hour and 42 seconds, uh, 42 minutes and 39 seconds. It's interesting what time he is going to get through. Here very, very soon. Top American woman now, since we have not talked about them for a while. He's looking great, he's looking around, he's looking nice and relaxed. At the 25K, we had Emily Sissons and Emma Bates, Nick and Nick. Although it does look like now that Emily Sisson has Increased the pace and has now dropped Emma Bates. Emma Bates is roughly around 10, 12 seconds behind. She's still on under two hours and 20 minutes pace, but Emily Sisson has definitely picked up the pace and she has now just under two hours and 19 minutes. So these girls are flying. At the 30k mark now, we have Sifan Hassan, 134, and Ruth Kipnitic, 134.10. So at the 30k, we have still back when Bridget Kuskai ran her course record. She ran one minute, 35, one hour, 35 minutes and 18 seconds. That means Sifan Hassan has 78 seconds. She has increased the pace again. She is on fire, this woman. And at this stage, she is well under the course record. She is a little bit to go for the world record but she will be the second fastest woman of all time if she can keep this pace up. Calvin Kipton 
is looking like he is owning the streets of Chicago right now. His running style is beautiful. His arm action is beautiful. He's got guys running next to him, trying to leave him in his dust. And here we have the interview for the top woman, Catherine de Bruyne. race together with Susanna Scaroni. She pushed so hard and uh, yeah, we did it together like in Berlin also. And then she attacked really hard at the last hill. But uh, yeah, I, I could fight and I made it and I, I'm really proud on both of us. I was just gonna say, just like Berlin, a sprint finish, you had four at the end in Berlin, two here. Susanna, the defending champion, pushing you more and more. She made you really earn it here at the end. Yeah, she made me hurt really much. I think we both hurt. And uh, next to us were always the guys. So we had kind of a battle with the guys. It was an amazing uh, race also with the crowd on the street. I really loved it. You set a world record in Berlin. You set the course record here today. You were right there with the guys. How do you see women's wheelchair racing right now? The times are going down. How does that feel? Yeah, that's true. Uh, the, the women's field is so crazy right now. It's amazing. We are so on a high level. And uh, this year, every marathon, another women won. So that shows how big um, or strong the field is and how close we are. And one day, this woman is in the lead, another day, it's another one. And I really like that challenge. Well, twice the champion in Berlin, once the champion in London, and now Chicago. Hope we can get you to come back here, Catherine. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Back to you guys in the studio. What a debut. There we have the men's wheelchair final results. Marcel Hoff, 122.37. Then we have Romanchik, almost nine minutes behind. He is the largest winning margin in history, as long with his world record, or what is, sorry, his course record. Then we have Platt, nine minutes behind, Pike, and so on. In the women's, we have De Bruyne, wonderful time with Scaroni, two seconds behind. Then we have McFadden, Tatiana McFadden, who was the old course record holder. She's only two minutes and 33 seconds behind. And then we got Ha and Dos Santos Rocha. A very, very tight finish for third place today. And here we have it. Calvin Kiptum leading the charge. Look, you just when you look at him, you don't think he's running so fast. But when you see the guy filming him on the side, running next to him, you know by the look of that that he is really, really powerhousing down to the finish line. We are still waiting for the 35K mark. It should be coming in about less than two minutes time, I would say. Should we say, here we go. He's just gone through the 30K mark, 35K mark. And it looks like he was just over one hour and 40 minutes, which means he is well under the course record. And I would say we are close to one hour and 40 minutes and 22 seconds. That is two minutes and fifth, 17 seconds faster than the course record. He has definitely picked up the pace. He's 80 and he's at now world record pace, ladies and gentlemen. After that fast picking up, he is on world record pace, and he is looking like he is going to do it. If he can keep this pace up, if he can keep pushing. Amazing performance by Kiptum. He has only 
7k to go. He is world record pace right now. Is he going to beat Kipchoge's world record that he set in Berlin? The last time the world record was set here in Chicago for the men's race was way back when Khaled Kanuchi did under two hours and six minutes for the first time. Two hours, five minutes and 42 seconds. He is on fire. We've seen course records in both the men's and women's wheelchair events. We are about to see definitely a course record, but maybe even a world record in the men's race now as well. You are watching history here, ladies and gentlemen. This is something we all will remember. Let's watch this man, this magnificent power of running right now. Amazing 5K split between 30 and 35K. His, his 10 turnover is looking great. His arms are looking strong. He is looking at his watch, ladies and gentlemen. Is he going to be able to break the famous world record of Kipchoge? I think if he can keep this up, if he can hold this for at least another 5K split, then, ladies and gentlemen, you are about to see history being made in today's race. It's going to be tight. But it is going to be fun to see what these guys can do. You can hear the helicopter because they know something amazing is about to happen. The race organizers will be so happy with what's transpired here today. We got Mateko, 49 seconds behind. We have the top three after that, Korea, Abdi and Capruto, all neck and neck, chasing for that third place medal right now, ladies and gentlemen. We are on fire. It is going to be a great finish to today's race. Top American men now. We are looking at probably they have not gone through the 35k mark yet. Nope, so we're still waiting for them. We're probably waiting for about another minute or so. But this man is on fire. Look at how beautiful his running style is. Look how amazing he is running right now. We are in for a treat, ladies and gentlemen. It is about to go down. We are rocking and rolling. Look at Kelvin Kiptum going. It's not often. Well done. It's looking amazing. He doesn't look like he's slowed down at all. He is looking like he is on fire. It is not often I get to commentate for such an amazing race. Kelvin Kiptum is on world record pace here at Chicago Marathon. And you are seeing it live with less than 6K to go. He is on charge, on point to run under Kipchoge's world record set in Berlin of two hours, one minute and nine seconds. Let's go, let's go. I am excited. I hope you are all excited at home. Current pace under two hours and one minute, ladies and gentlemen. You are witnessing history right here, right now, looking like he is going to break the world record. Can you see it? Can you imagine it? At the halfway. 
He ran one hour and 48 seconds, which means he was slower than the world record pace. Even at the 25K mark, he was slower than the world record pace. Even at the 30K mark, he was slower than the world record pace. But between 30 and 35, and now he is just going strength to strength, faster and faster, and we're about to see something amazing. We have the American men now, both. It looks like Galen Rupp is fading. We've got Connor Muntz in first place in one hour and 45 and 10 seconds. We have Sam now, Shalunga in second place, one hour 45 and 20 seconds. And then Galen Rupp in one hour 45 and 35 seconds. Muntz is still on an amazing performance of two hours, six minutes and 48 seconds finishing time. Whereas Galen Rupp is still closely there in two hours, seven minutes and 17 seconds. We have three guys all under the Olympic qualifying standards right now. The first three Americans under the qualifying standards right now. But this man, Calvin Kiptum, is about to make world history. Let's get back to the top woman we saw just recently. Sifan Hassan is in the lead. She had 10 seconds on Ruth Kipnitich at the 30K mark. Let's see if we have now crossed the 35. No, still not there. We are about to, I believe, in about two minutes' time. World record. He is grimacing. He is pushing his arms. He is on fire, but he is feeling the effects. It is about now when you start to feel tired. We have what, basically 12 minutes, only slightly over 12 minutes to run, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you can stay with us until the end of the race because we are experiencing something extraordinary right now. This man is running like a legend. Horse record, world record, is under threat. The course record set by Dennis Kamito of two hours, three minutes and 45 seconds is gone, dusted, will never be seen again. The world record set here in his last time by Khaled Kanuchi of 2.05.42 is broken as well. This man is out to get the world record now. Can he hold on at the moment? The last comment we heard from the organizers was that he had about 10 seconds to spare, but a lot can happen over these last few Ks of the race. And let us not forget the nice hill that's waiting for him as we get into the finish line. Top American woman. We have Emily Sisson still at first. And we have now Emma Bates is definitely slow. She may even be beaten or passed by Molly Seidel if she is not careful. She has dropped almost a minute from Emily Sisson in the last 5K. Emma Bates is now only 20 seconds, sorry, one minute ahead of Molly Seidel with, at the 30K mark with 10 to 12 kilometers to go. He is grimacing now, it is tough. Can he hold on, can he hold on all the way into the finish? Will we see a world record today? In the previous two races, it's only two marathon races he has run, he has, in 2022, in Valencia, run two hours, one minute, and 53 seconds. In London this year, when he bet Kipchoge, he ran, and many others, he ran two hours, one minute, and 25 seconds. Are we about to see a world record here in the Chicago Marathon, the 45th running of this amazing event? It looks like... 
Hifan, Sifan Hassan is in to win. We had one minute 50, one minute 50 and 17 seconds at the 35K mark. That is still, she slowed slightly, but she is still 50, 57 seconds ahead of the course record pace right now. She is on an expected finishing time of two hours, ju just under two hours and 13 minutes. The second fastest runner of all time if she can keep this pace on over the next little while. But this man, this Superman is about to create history. Let's see if we can get the 40K mark coming up. He's still got a little bit of a way to go. And 157. So we're about five, four, five minutes away from seeing how this last 5K has gone. But he looks like he is pushing. He looks like if he's not tiring. You can see the grimace in his face, but he doesn't look like he's tense at all. He is running on adrenaline. He is running on the fumes of success. He is running on his teammates of Mateko, who is in second place right now, of Kipchoge, who he trains with in Kenya and part of the NN team. going to take his drink bottle. If he takes it, then you know he's still feeling good. He knows where to find it. He knows where to look for it. He knows this is the last drink station before he gets into the finish. Takes a few sips. Powers those lungs. Powers that stomach. Gets that influx of insulin into the bloodstream to help produce the energy that he needs to power those legs all the way into the finish. We are, will see very, very shortly him pass into the 40K mark, ladies and gentlemen. If my corrections are correct, predictions are correct, he should be at roughly about a minute's time from now. He is flying, he is looking fast, he is looking furious, he is flying around the streets of Chicago. You can see more and more crowd are coming, turning up. Let's go. He is yelling at him. He knows that he is on pace to run a world record at the 35K mark. At, he has passed 40k now, and he did a 104, 154, sorry, and he is at two hours and 40 second pace. He is on fire. He is going to break it. He is one hour 54 minutes and 23 seconds at the 40k mark. He is on fire. We, he, he will not, I can tell you right now, unless he has an extremely hard last 2K. There's no way he will drop 29 seconds in the last 2K. Amazing finish by Kelvin Kipton. There was in the cards. He had run fast and he ran faster in London. He is on fire. He is going to bring Chicago Marathon to the top of the marathon majors list for the fastest times on the planet back into the realms of the stratosphere. Now we have Stefan Hassan also running by herself now. She's left her pacemakers behind. She is on fire.
respect to my athletes who are running. It's Nick and Nick side by side. I know we've got to calm down a little bit. We have running together. Both these athletes of mine all looking amazing. Three hours, under three hours, 24. My athletes, well done to you, Johannes Lien and Anna Ulbe. Looking really, really good. I hope you are watching this amazing feat of human performance wherever you are in the world. Let's hope you are seeing one of the greatest, if not the greatest, performance of the last few years right now. Left the pacemakers behind after 20K, 25K roughly, and been running neck and neck with his training partner, Mateko. And now he, since about the 30K mark, he's been on his own, picked up the pace amazingly between 30 and 40K, and is on to win and go under two hours and one minutes for the first time in history without the setup that Kachogi did when he went under two hours with the Nike project. We are less than three minutes away, ladies and gentlemen, to the finish. We've got 800 meters to go. You can see the sign there, half a mile, ladies and gentlemen. We are about to see maybe under two hours and 30 seconds if he can keep this pace up. He is about to turn up to the hill. Let's see if that, how that slows him down, but it doesn't seem like anything is slowing this man down today. He is on fire and is going to make history. He is going to break the world record, ladies and gentlemen. We have turning the corner up the hill. Is the hill gonna slow this superhuman down? I don't think so. He is in to win and he is about to show everyone that he is the new king of marathon distance running. Kenyan athlete, Kelvin Kipton. 400 meters to go. We are about to see close to two hours and 30 seconds for this event. The horrible hill into the finish line. We've got 200 meters to go almost as he turns the corner here. And it hasn't 300 meters to go now. Let's go. Looking like a boss. Amazing finish by Calvin Kiptum setting the world record, the world record, 200 meters to go, 200 meters to go for an amazing race. Incredible, it's gonna be amazing to see what his second half was. Is he gonna break two hours and 30 seconds? He is on fire, ladies and gentlemen, he's 100 meters to go. Can he get under two hours and 40 seconds? He's crushed the world record, ladies and gentlemen. Amazing finish, incredible. Two hours and 35 seconds, I believe. An amazing race by this amazing athlete. <laughs> incredible. He is tired, of course he's tired, running that pace. Two hours and 30 seconds. Two hours and 30 seconds is amazing. Two hours and 30 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. Two hours and 30 seconds. It's almost hard to believe. It is faster than two minutes and 50 seconds for the marathon. Per K for the marathon, every K for 42K back to back. He ran the first half in one hour and 48 seconds. It means that he ran 
the second half. And under 60 seconds. That's 60 minutes. Amazing, amazing scenes here at the finish line. He's number one, ladies and gentlemen. He ran the second half a lot faster. Incredible scenes here at the finish line. But there's still so much racing to go here, ladies and gentlemen. We have the top American men. We have the top American woman. We have the top woman. Sifan Hassan is about to win her second marathon major after winning London. 2023 in an amazing fashion. Calvert, look up, look up. Incredible finish. And as my friend Michael Nelson says, he looks super fish, uh, fresh. Here comes our next finisher. He's almost running with his amazing finish. Capruto, who is last year's winner. In second place, two hours, four minutes and two seconds, running faster. We have Mataiko, something's happened to him over the last 10K on his debut marathon. And here comes Abdi, Rashir Abdi coming into the finish line in third place. Well done, Benson Capruto running faster over the uh, Chicago Marathon than he did when he won last year, but still an amazing three minutes and 30 seconds behind our winner, Calvin Kipton. The official time for Kipton is two hours and 35 seconds two hours and 35 seconds broken the record the world record by an astonishing 34 seconds and he looks fresh you know what is happening the weather we've been talking about the weather the weather is perfect taking the win for the men in the in the wheelchair uh, we had our women's champion as well from go Switzerland setting a course record today Catherine De Broner unofficially it feels like Calvin Kipton ran the last half marathon the second half almost uh, well, a minute faster than the first half so an amazing time for him an amazing power of running
And now we're back on the woman. We are past the 40K mark for Sivan Hassan. She just did two hours, six minutes and 36 seconds for the 40K. She is still on the course record pace. But she has slowed a little bit, but she is still under the course record by around about 30, or just under 40 seconds. By 30, five seconds now at the 40K mark. Unless her legs fall off, she is about to break the course record, win the 150,000 US dollars, but she is looking around, she is tired, and so rightly she's allowed to be. At the 35K mark, she had a lead of about 30 seconds from Ruth Kipnatich. And Ruth is still also under, slightly over the predicted or the uh, course record that Bridget Koskai set. How did it feel to cross the finish line in record time? I feel so happy. Uh, I was well prepared. I knew I was coming for a, a, a course record. But unfortunately, a world record. Yeah, I'm very so much happy. <laughs> you jumped into Carrie's arms. Was, what was that moment? Do you feel you had to do it? You had to jump in. What were you feeling when you knew it was yours? I was feeling so happy. I was still feeling so happy. When you saw the time, you came down to the end. How did you push and what was in your head when you saw the time and you knew you had a chance? Yes, I saw the time in front of me. I said, let me try. Maybe I can run under 200, unfortunately. Yeah. You said in Valencia you were trying to run 207, 208. You ran 205. You said in London you were trying to run 205. You ran a 201. What is next for you as you are now already the world record holder? How do you top this? For now, I'm very happy. Uh, a world record was not in my mind today, but it has come definitely. But I knew one day, one time, I'll be a world record holder. And this was your first time in Chicago. What did you think of the course? What did you think of the race? This is my first time in Chicago. I've had uh, uh, so long time ago that Chicago is a flat course. So I said, let me go and try Chicago. Yeah. Well, I hope you remember Chicago because Chicago will always remember you for this. Congratulations on this wonderful world record. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm, thank you. Back to you guys in the studio. Kelvin Kipton, our new world record. All right, as we're watching the finishing stages of Sifan Hassan coming into the finish, I can give you the results of the American men. Conor Muntz held out all the way to the end and got his American, or should I say, US uh, Olympic qualifier of 207.47. That's right, 207.47 and a personal best. In second place, surprisingly, Clayton Young came through the finish over the last 2K and also broke two hours, eight minutes and 10 seconds, the qualifying time for the Olympics. Well done with 2.08 flat. And then Galen Rupp finishes third American in two hours, eight minutes and 48 seconds. Unfortunately, not getting the Olympic qualifying, but a great return to form after being injured. So well done to those men. It seems like Galen Rupp sprinted past Sam Chalunga in the final stretch, where Sam Chalunga ran an amazing time as well of 2.08.50. So amazing results coming all around here today. But back to the leading woman, the mixed thing on our list. We are about to see a course record. The world record has already gone past 
she had at the 40k, one minute and 16 seconds ahead of Kipnitic. And she is about to break the course record. You know she's tired. She keeps looking around behind her, but she is going to turn the corner. We're almost there. We've got less than 800 meters to go very, very shortly. Uh, we're about to see, and we're coming up to the hill, the hard hill, the brutal hill at this part of the race. That's so close to the finish but you get to feel the sting in your legs i've run this hill a few times it is brutal it is painful but it is also wonderful when you turn the corner and you can see the finish line and sifan hassan is showing that she is also not just good at the 1500 meters where she got bronze this year at the world champs she is not just best at the 5,000 meters at the world champs. She is also the marathon, London marathon champion in 2023. And she's about to have the course record and the second fastest time ever by a woman over the marathon distance in Chicago today in near perfect running conditions. Incredible finish here and here we go she's showing us her 1500 meter her 5000 meter finishing sprint as best she can as the announcer says she's a huge track star and she is definitely under the course record Fantastic time. Amazing time here. Unofficially, 213.38. Thrashing this course record by 30 seconds. Amazing. Amazing result. Course record, world record, course record, course record. The war records have fallen here at today. Chicago Marathon is delivering result after result here. And there is no stopping this woman. There are reports of Sifan Hassan after winning the 5,000 meters at the World Champs, going out and doing an, an additional workout after the finish line. And you can see that this has prevailed. She has run well, she's doing well, and she is, again, on top of the podium for her second World Marathon Major in 2023. The crowd is going wild. The American races are always so wonderful with the crowd and the support that these runners get. It doesn't matter whether you're elite or whether you're a four-hour runner. The crowd in America is like none other. And there's Ruth Kipnicic into the finish line. She passes at 40k. She was 1 minute and 17 seconds behind. And she has now come in at 2.15. Two hours, 15 minutes and 37 seconds. Fading over the last half to be almost two minutes behind. Stephen Hassan. Amazing results here at the Chicago Marathon. We still have the top American woman to come into the finish line. Let's see where our last woman, they have passed the 40K mark. 
It looks like Emma Bates is now faded to fourth. We have Emily Sissons. She is going to be coming up into the finish very, very shortly. She passed the 40K mark to just after Sifan Hassan finished in two hours and 13 minutes and 44 seconds. We've got Molly Seidel coming back. Third woman coming into the finish as well. Amazing. And here we go into. And Safan Hassan has had quite the life. She was born in Ethiopia and she came to the Netherlands as a refugee at the age of 13. She currently holds 11 national records from the 1,000 meter to the marathon. And Joycelyn Jekoske of Kenya crossing the finish line. Uh, Molly Seidel looks like she will run a personal best in today's race if she keeps it up. Months getting a fifth place into the finish line today. Well done to Connor Months and getting that qualifier for the world champs. We have Mugutu Kibida in third place for the woman in two hours, 17 minutes, 0, 09 seconds. Let's go back to the top American woman here. We are about to see another personal best. Go, ladies and gentlemen we're about to see Emily come into the finish is she going to break no she is slower than the two hours and 20 minutes mark now but that's okay she's going to win the American top title here and we are about to see her come into the finish here she comes Sisson she got second in last year's race she is coming into the finish, the final spice to the amazing running that we've seen here today. She has also slowed a little bit, but she had at the 40k mark still just over a minute from in the head of Molly Seidel. And Sarah Vaughan is about two minutes in front of her. So both these ladies, all three of these ladies are doing really, really well. Here we go, up to the finish line. He was on to run under two hours and 20 minutes for most of the race. But once around about the 35k mark, she began to slow. But again, she is doing great here. Coming into the finish line. Again, that terrible hill coming into the finish line. It is so painful, yet so wonderful. When you turn that corner and you see the finishing shoot and you think you've just done your li li life's best result, best race. Today has been amazing. Today has seen course records fall. And here comes Molly, uh, Emily Sisson into the finish line. Runs for New Balance. She 
He is 31 years of age. She ran 2.18.29 in Chicago last year for second place. And now she is first American again here today. Emily Sisson, 22. So two hours, 22 minutes and nine seconds. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up most of all the action here today. We have an amazing result with course records in both the uh, wheelchair events, Marcel Hook, one hour 22 and 37 seconds course record by just under three minutes we have catherine de bruna also a course record by 31 seconds we have a course record by Stefan hassan and the second fastest time in history over the marathon distance of two hours 13 and 44 seconds and who would ever have pictured a world record today with a closing half marathon of under 60 minutes, he ran two hours and 35 seconds. A world record, Calvin Kipton. Amazing performances today. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. I hope you will join me again in about uh, two weeks' time when I commentate on the Frankfurt half marathon. Until then, goodbye. this morning. Daniel Craig Adam. You were wanting, running with Ruth for a while. Tell me about the breakaway. How did the push happen? How did, how were you able to gain on that lead? You know, even around 1500 meters, it was so hard for me, for me to start. And the first five kilometers, I really suffered. And I catch up with them. And so I'm inexperienced. And whenever I get water I, uh, back, uh, I get off from them. And I have to catch up. And I think we start too hard. Uh, they, I think the far is like 10 kilometers, we start 13 and we both broke. Uh, <laughs> you said your training for this was different from London. H how? It might, well, it's better, clearly, because you had an even better time. Yeah, it, it is actually really, I, uh, I, I'm very, very, very happy about my training and I really train for it. I don't know six weeks is enough, but I have training so hard. I think that's why I'm getting a little bit too cold today and I still run amazing time and I never thought I would run, I would like thought, okay, I'm like a shape of 215, you know, I just hung up up her. But it is amazing, it is amazing, unbelievable. 213.38, a great time, your first time racing on American soil. We hope it's not the last time here in Chicago. No, I hope I will like, keep continuing, keep yes. coming back, and it is, it is very good. I'm grateful, I can't wait to come back. Thank you, Safan, congratulations. Safan Hassan, our women's champion today, guys. Here we go, big streams of athletes coming in to this Bank of America Chicago Marathon. Roman Luis, Ismael Fernandez, Escalona, Mexico. Suzume Asepa, Kebede, Ethiopia, Stephen Lawrence, Canada. Nathan O'Connor, USA.